Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Halloween home tour. I'm very excited to show you guys how I decorated my main living area for this upcoming festivity. It definitely challenges me the most creatively because I absolutely love incorporating Halloween into my existing style. So the way I like to describe it is imagining that I'm a witch decorating my cottage. That is the approach I take and I really do love how it turned out this year. So I hope this gives you some ideas to decorate your home own home and incorporate your own style into this holiday or festivity because I know it is one of those that can be hard to decorate for but anyways I'm also excited to share that this video is in collab with my good friend Kristen she is also known as Harvest and Holly here on YouTube and I absolutely love her content I I'm so inspired. Every single video that she puts out, I actually look forward to all of her Halloween, fall, and Christmas videos. She just has such a unique style and I love that she sticks to it regardless of what trends are going around. I just really, really do love her content and I think you guys will love her as well. And her content so definitely make sure to check out her video after you've watched mine I will go ahead and leave her channel linked down below for you guys and if you are coming from Kristen's channel hi my name is Cass I'm 25 year old decor enthusiast I also do a lot of homemaking style videos and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy this video and want similar content to Kristen but other than that you guys I hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started okay friends so starting at my entryway i just put down this rug this rug is from target i got it last year but they do still have it again this year and i just love the colors that it pulls in especially for halloween now moving from my entryway rug we have my entryway table and i kept this pretty simple i kept some of my statement pieces such as my table lamp that's from target the little baskets at the bottom are from World Market. And this huge vase right here was also from Target last year. And I just put some stems I got from Hobby Lobby this year. And then I also went ahead and just added this gold tray with some knickknacks on top of it. The crow feet candlestick holders are from Target last year, but they brought them back this year. And then this cute little bowl is from Hobby Lobby. It has some tiny little skulls inside of it. And then of course a pumpkin and a cinnamon brew. And then over here, I just have a stack of books with this candle holder. This is from Target as well last year. And this timer is from Michaels this year. So super simple, but still a little bit spooky. Now for this corner of my living room, I just went ahead and added my vinyl record player to this table and then I layered a book and on top of it, I added this copper bucket I got from Michaels and inside of it is just an arrangement I got from Target and of course another one of those candle holders from Target that are shaped like a school. I absolutely love those. Moving on to this corner of my couch, the only thing I did different is I switched out the pillow cover that I had previously for this more Halloween pillow cover. In this corner, my pillows remained the same and then over in this one, I did the same thing and I just switched out one of the pillow covers for the Halloween looking pillow cover and that is it. And then over here in this corner, up at the top, I went ahead and added some witches hats and then a ladder with some cinnamon brooms, a floor base, or I'm using it as a floor base that is actually an umbrella holder from Target. And I just added some stems inside of it and a cute little broom right beside it. Now from my couch, we move on to my coffee table. And right here, I just went ahead and layered a book and I'm using it as a tray. On top of it, I just added this candle from Target and a few knickknacks. I love the little like cinnamon broom for Halloween touches. And then of course, a little pumpkin to incorporate the fall season. And from here in this corner over here, I just have my cozy accent chair and I just added this pillow. This is from the Target dollar spot. And yeah, that is it for 
this side of the living room. Now on my mantle, I kept things pretty simple. I just added this space with some stems inside of it. And this hand is from Walmart last year. It was meant to be a candle holder, but I just flipped it upside down and I have it holding this pumpkin. And then on this side of the mantle, I just have these two candlestick holders with some candles on it. And that cute little owl is from the Target dollar spot. And that is it. We are back to this corner, but that is everything I did in the living room. Now in my dining room table, I just went ahead and created this arrangement. I used a large dough bowl that I had, and then I just layered all of my fall florals, incorporated some vine pumpkins, some skulls, some lotus pots, and of course I had to incorporate some candlesticks. My candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby, and I just made sure to incorporate some very small candles to kind of make them look used. They are drippy with the wax, so I just felt like it gave it such a like lived in look, which is what I wanted. And then for my table runner, I just went ahead and layered this one. I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and then this one is the Hearth and Hand line at Target. Again, I got that a few years ago as well. But then from here, we move on to my coffee bar. Okay, for my coffee bar, I went ahead and layered my large corbels that I got from Decor Stills towards the back. And then I just layered a bunch of creepy items. This new candelabra I got from Joann's is my favorite piece. And I just went ahead and added some candles just like I did on the dining room table. Just very short and with drippy. Towards the back, I also added some creepy cloth and then over in that corner, I just have some bats and then of course, uh, some pumpkins to incorporate fall again, a skeleton hand, some viney pumpkins, uh, some little twisty twigs and this is what I came up with. I think I love my coffee bar the most out of all the decor in my home but then at the bottom of course i just added some things that i actually use every day so i have a pot holder i have some kitchen towels another cinnamon broom and then down here i have all the stuff i use for coffee making so my coffee grounds in this cute little container and then i have some stirring sticks back here and of course my coffee syrup so super practical and i just love how this space turned out now in my kitchen this is almost basically the only area i decorate i got these rods off of amazon and then i just reuse a lot of the same wood pieces so all of my cutting boards but i just added a few spooky pieces like i said i love this skeleton here i think it adds such a fun touch I always add some type of greenery piece, kitchen towels, and just anything that is practically used in the kitchen or is of practical use in the kitchen, like these measuring cups right here. These copper ones are from Hobby Lobby. The gold spoons are from Hobby Lobby as well. And yeah, just the practical stuff that I can actually use, but it still looks so cute here. And then of course, some more of that creepy cloth Right here, I just have my apron and I added the cinnamon broom I got from Home Depot and that is it. Now in this corner of my kitchen, I just added this sign I got from Kirkland's last year and then I just switched out some of the pieces I had from my fall decor. I added this pumpkin from Target and this candle from Target as well. Basically everything in this corner is from Target except the sign I got from Kirkland's. Now in this corner of my kitchen, I just added this kitchen towel to my kitchen aid, a cute little like skeleton hand on top of my flower container. And that is it. I just have some other pieces up here, but pretty simple, but I still love how it turned out. Alrighty friends, well that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween home tour. I hope it gave you ideas, inspiration, and I hope that you decorate for Halloween next year. If you didn't decorate this year, you can definitely incorporate it into your existing style and I hope that my video showed that to you. But yes, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.
Bye.